Okay, this is for the assignment, uh, the learning styles assignment. It's a short little PowerPoint. I'm going to show you how I want you to do this assignment. Um, it's an introduction to learning styles. Um, learning styles can best be described as the way people like to learn, the way they process information, and the way they interact with others based on their learning styles. Um, so we can ask things like, would you rather go see a movie or go on a field trip? What type of learning works best for you depends on your learning style. You may have noticed that you process information in a certain way. Did you get all the details that you were more interested in the big picture? Are you more likely to have a sequential list of items or draw a mind map? All these types of things for our learning styles. And again, um, it's not this class is not just about you it's about your future students um, so you're going to be able to understand by doing this how you learn best but you're probably going to want to do something like this you may be required to do something like this to learn how your students learn best but eventually the more you do it you're going to be able to know right off the bat what types of learning styles most of your students have without giving them an inventory or an instrument you'll be old hands at it real quick um why do we do it well it's to help you develop strategies for success and give you ways to study and learn the three main most popular and simple styles are visual learning by seeing auditory learning by hearing and kinesthetic also known as tactile and that's learning by doing also known as hands-on or active learning. Okay. Um, we have a lot of models and a lot of learning style inventory uh, instruments out there. The most popular one is VARC. Um, I don't like it that much personally because it doesn't ask that many questions and it seems very, very generic to me. So I do another one called the Feldman Solomon Learning Styles Inventory, and that's the one you're going to be doing here in just a minute. But the VARC has the three big ones, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic, but they also do a reading and writing thing in there as well. Um, a learning style inventory is simply an instrument. It's a way of getting the information to make the assessment of what you what type of learning style you are or have rather um, it's done by asking a variety of questions and then it, you hit submit and the computer generates what type of learning style you may have um, and it'll also suggest different techniques to help you um, understand and possibly uh, learn a little more now the Feldman and so uh, Solomon Learning Styles Inventory is, uh, again, different than the VARC. It does not use kinesthetic audio and visual. Audio and visual. It uses active and reflective learners, uh, sensing and intuitive learners, visual and verbal learners, and sequential and global learners. And we'll talk about that um, right now, matter of fact. So we're going to go to... Um, blackboard here and you'll see in the blackboard for this week the learning styles assessment you simply click on this we'll do that in a second but I want to just remind you this is a task stream assignment you will not get points for this assignment if it's not turned into task stream but I also want you to attach a copy of the Microsoft Word document you're going to make to your wiki as well so what you're going to do is click on this link and this um, learning styles uh, questionnaire is going to come up. Now, I've already got it filled out. Um, eek, and I have an error, so we're going to have to do it all over again. That's fine. Let's put in our name. And I'm going to blast through here done. It's a 
give it all A's and see what happens. But I don't want you to do this. I want you to take your time and and do it. Um, there's 44 questions. It probably takes about 15, 20 minutes to sit down and do it. You don't want to overthink it. Just answer the questions. And again, you will be extremely surprised how uncanny this is um, when you get it done. And if you don't, if you get an error, uh, when you do it, it probably means you didn't answer one of the questions. So just go back and make sure all the questions are answered. And again, um, don't do this. <laughs> Do what I say, not what I do. Okay, so I've got them all filled out, and then it's going to say submit. So when you submit, what's going to happen is you're going to get um, the learning styles results. And <laughs> when I hit all A's, this is what happens. It's giving me these X's on all of these things. So essentially it's saying if I have a score on a scale of 9 to 11, I have a strong preference for the one dimension of the scale. So it's when I hit all A's, it's telling me I'm an active learner, sensitive learner, visual learner, and sequential learner. What you want to do is, yours will be, when you answer it correctly, yours will be all over the place. Okay, and what you want to do is find the highest number. In, in my case, I've got 11s on all of them. Yours won't be like that. You're going to have, um, uh, you're going to have them all over the place. You're going to have some 1s, you'll have some 3s, probably some 5s. You may not even get to 11. I don't see a lot of 11s out there. Um, with this, I usually see see it nine as the highest. So you're gonna you're gonna find out what type of learner you are, and then you're gonna go to the learning styles descriptions, and that's gonna tell you um, what type of learner you are, and give you a little bit of information on it. So it's saying here with active learners ten active and reflective learners you know you tend to retain and understand information best by doing something active with it discussing applying explaining to others reflective learners think about their think about it quietly first so uh, what I want you to do is whatever you are the highest one I want you to read about it you should read this whole thing it's not that long and then do a reflection on what you found out. So what I want you to do is open up a um, Word document. Again, what I want what I want you to do is um, simply um, copy and paste this. Just copy this. Then you're going to put it on a Word document and answer some questions just to give me a reflection. So here's a sample I've put in for you to look at. So you're gonna copy, you're gonna paste this in. And you're gonna see with this student, she, she, I, she was a one, one, three, one. So her v biggest one was visual. Um, so, you know, one through three are fairly well balanced in the two dim uh, dimensions of the scale. So she's saying, you know, I was really surprised to see how balanced I was in all, most categories and um, you know it talks about what she she thought about it so I want you to write about whether you agree disagree but you have to do the inventory um, well and be honest okay it takes about this whole assignment if you did it maybe take 35 to 40 minutes so you have plenty of time during the week to get it done. You just have to do it. And you're going to want to just save this somewhere. Um, I have sample learning style uh, inventory. I just want you to put your last name and then learning style 
inventory, save that document like that, and then you're going to turn this into task stream, and you're going to put it on your wiki. Okay, not that much work to do, so please get it done. Got any questions? Email me before the week is over. Don't email me two weeks later after this and say, well, I'm having trouble with it because this needs to be done this week. That's how you participate. Okay, so get it done. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.